Welcome back to Texas Top Homes, where home buying, selling, and financing are all simplified. I'm your host, Freeman Sawyer. With me is my co-host, Tracy Wiesman. Today, we're visiting with one of Texas top builders, Ronnie Carter with First Texas Homes. Ronnie, thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. Good to be here. Can you kind of give the listeners out there what is a typical warranty at a First Texas or a gallery home? Any builder in Texas is going to have one-year warranty. Bumper to bumper, anything that goes wrong in the home, you need to communicate with us, and we we seek to take care of it. Okay. Then the appliances and whatnot will have their own manufacturer's warranty in excess of the one year, and then Makes their sense. like I just explained. Uh, you know, we our foundations are ten year. Okay, we do a post tension foundation, so you know they like to do it right up front. There's not a good a lot of good PR. And driving through a neighborhood and somebody's mm-hmm. digging up on digging under one of your houses, putting piers in there, right? So that's right. We do whatever the engineer says, and you know, I'm not saying that I'm sure they've had a failure somewhere. Luckily, I've just never had one in ten years. So, uh, amen. And then the you know we we use uh, Hardy Siding, which has a 50 year warranty. Mostly brick communities, brick is 100. You know, we do sure. uh, 30 year roofs and whatnot. I'll tell you this. Now, uh, this is from my personal experience. I had a customer that um, he was uh, he was a uh, defense contractor, and uh, he gone six months out of the year he gets home from a six month over in afghanistan and his house had been out of warranty for four months he calls me up and says man you know so i got with my boss and he goes oh yeah man we'll take care of that house is out of warranty and you know we took care. it's a, that's on a case-by-case deal right but it was something that we should have handled and he would have noticed if it hadn't if he had been home sure. and, and we took care of it and so, that's the difference between nice. going with a family-owned privately owned builder and maybe a big corporation that doesn't look at, look at it that way. 100%. And also the fact that, you know, the salesperson at our company is in charge of the whole process, process. Right? right? So I had a relationship with that guy, right? Yeah. And that's what we want. We're, we don't, we do very little advertising. You know, we're mm-hmm. a word of mouth. Word of mouth is big. As you know, as I described earlier that I have a guy building a third house, I have people building their second house with me a lot. Right. Uh, if, if you're interested in a story, I found it quite amusing. The first house I ever sold when I was a sales assistant. This is what we call them, sales assistant. Right. Yep. I, set, I, set, I, I showed the house. I sold the home. I set the appointment. They brought me the cashier's check. I set the appointment for the sales manager who was off that day. And then they came back and they did the deal. Well, last year I sold that same lady another house. That's great. After she closed, she came in on my day off with a copy of that original check that I had given her a receipt in 2006 that appointment and gave it to my assistant and said here give this to ronnie he will appreciate it nice. it was my signature my writing setting up her appointment to write this contract on that first house so very cool but what i'm saying is so even after a buyer closes if they need anything i, I try to help them out and try to advise them uh, if it's something that right is right wrong, wrong is wrong right That's so right. if it's something we should we should handle we you know we wouldn't certainly try to handle it right. but we are a comp we are a business you know we have things that are warranty things that are not warranty and you know, you you got to go along those lines. But, you know, like I said, it's a privately owned company. Uh, we deal with, with the powers that be directly. We don't have all the mental management that you have to tread through to get things done. So, you know, sometimes things things need to be handled a little outside of the box. And this company certainly has that flexibility. And I, that makes it a lot more enjoyable to work there, for sure. Nice. That's awesome. Ronnie, give us your website. Uh, www.firsttexashomes.com. If somebody wants to call you and set an appointment to come look at some houses, 682-518-8081.